Hi, I'm Irving, and I have no life, just like you. One thing I really liked about the Medal of Honor series was how even when the other series like Call of Duty were going modern, they stayed in World War II a while longer. Medal of Honor Airborne came out at practically the same time as Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I was glad they resisted the temptation to play Follow the Leader and go modern. At least for one more game. And then we went here. <laughs> We begin with a cut scene that goes on for a full four minutes. We're in Afghanistan, our name is Rabbit. The guy driving is Voodoo. Your mission is to find a guy named Tariq who has some information the brass needs. Well, guess what? It's an ambush by the Chechens. You get separated from the other vehicle and it's finally time for the player to do something. I got him through that barrel. Nice. And it keeps track of headshots. So far I like it. Aiming and firing is nice and smooth, good accuracy, and that one hit that I took is about what you might expect with the kind of body armor these guys wear. It's not Guadalcanal or the Battle of Berlin, but okay, let's see what else we've got. The first order of business is to link up with the rest of our squad, Mother and Preacher. When the shooting started, they zigged while we zagged. You start making your way toward the others, but we'll discover quickly that voodoo isn't too bright. Explain to me why he's still standing. He took at least ten shots there, which is enough to do him in even with his body armor. Well, that's video game physics, you see. Everyone is invulnerable, except, of course, you. My objective was to go into this room and presumably shoot that guy. Okay? Okay, that sounds like an overall objective. Let's do this. That's what it took to secure the crash site? Two enemies? Well, what's next? Can't get past the wreck. Roger. One three moving across the street. Roger. Voodoo, move through the buildings. Safer to be off the streets. Solid. Rabbit, through the buildings. Get to a hard point and link up. Jack. These objectives seem kind of easy. Objective, take a step. Objective complete. Objective, take a step. Objective, complete. Objective, take a step. It's obvious we're doing a tutorial level here, but come on. You move on until you come to a place where you kill the lights and use your night goggles. This way. That is some of the sharpest night vision I've seen yet. I can see a lot of love went into the look and feel of this game. Did they put as much into the story and gameplay? That's the big question. We move on through the building using our night vision to go room to room looking for enemies. My finely honed militaristic instincts are telling me I didn't do that right. Let's try again. Now before, when I came around that corner, it almost seemed like those guys could see me in spite of the dark. I don't know what happened, but this is a much better outcome.
On we go. Eventually, we hook up with Mother and Preacher and keep trying to make our way to Tariq's place. Unfortunately, we've had to conclude that Tariq betrayed us and the whole town's a set up to deprive us of life, liberty, and our heads. Mother says no matter, we're finding him and if he's alive, we're taking him in so he can answer for this. During one firefight, I spotted what appeared to be some explosive barrels. This should be good. Oh well, it could have added a nice dimension to that battle, but I guess we're going for realism or something. How very dull. You finish clearing the place out and find Tariq. Rabbit in the door. For real, cover the door. Shit. Tariq. As you can hear, we're also going for the realistic language. I argued with myself a lot about bleeping those things, since I do my best to try and avoid certain potentially offensive terms in this show, but in the end it was just going to be too big a job and would get too distracting. So I apologize. There's not a whole lot of choice in a situation like this. If he flipped, he didn't do it by choice. Get down! Oh yeah, and not only was he tortured to death, but his body was booby-tracked with a nice bomb. But as it turns out, that wasn't Tariq. HQ tells us to go to another location, a fort nearby, and some intel suggests that the bad guys may be holding Tariq there. Let's go ask them. The other guys? I will if you quit running into my line of fire. It's nice to know some things never change. Anytime you're in a firefight, he'll probably do that at least once. You reach the gate of the fort and then wait for someone to come along and open the door. Take cover away from that door. Shout out. Copy that, Panther. Incoming. Take cover. Stand by. Time on target in five seconds. <laughs> when you have a key like that, there's lots of places you can go. Go building by building looking for Tariq. While we were clearing one particularly dark and cluttered room, I managed to do something that I've only gotten to do once or twice before in a Medal of Honor game. Tariq! Negative. Move, move! How often do these games give you a chance to use a little stealth? Not very often. That was fun. We finally reached the barn where they're holding Tariq. We have to take down all the bad guys without hitting him. We do like our slow-mo segments, don't we? And again, I have to ask, why do I suddenly have a pistol? I was holding my submachine gun when I kicked the door. When did it switch? How? And especially, why? These games love to do that, as we've seen before, and it's still several miles beyond annoying. If you want to use the slow motion, fine. But don't screw with my weapons. Let me decide that. Anyway, we have Tariq alive. We hop in that convenient truck you saw in the background and head for our rendezvous. Tariq has the info we need. Where are the enemy? Shyakot. Shaikot. What's that? It's Pasta. It means Valley of the Kings. Shyakot. Where is it? There. How many? Many. Five hundred fighters. Or more. Hmm. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Boat schmote. If the four of us are thinking about taking on 500 enemies, we're going to need a bigger gun. Nevertheless, on we go. Next stop is an airfield. You're gunning while your partner drives. Changing things up like this is one of the things that kept the World War II games interesting. You're not always a foot soldier running and gunning. Sometimes you're rolling and gunning. With the help of some troops, you take the front gate. But somewhere, crews are still raining mortar fire down on the area. Time to go find them. Well, I didn't get him, but he won't be firing any of those things for a while, so I'm calling that progress. Oh, 
Remember who's playing as Rabbit. Expect that to happen a lot. There are four mortar teams to take out, which proves that the Taliban doesn't understand the game principle of three. From there, you're off to take the control tower. Take the tower, you have the base. The Taliban are counterattacking back at the gate, but you don't have time to think about that right now. We do have exploding barrels, and now I know what they look like. Fight on through the hangars and up to the top of the tower. From there, you can direct airstrikes on the Taliban counterattack. It took a few tries because you have tanks and technicals and RPGs, oh my, all over the place, and you're supposed to bring down the CAS, or close air support, on all of them. If one of the vehicles crosses a plane, it's mission failure. Once you keep enough of them out and keep disrupting the RPG guys on the ground, you have mission success. You just seized an airbase. Once things are set up, you get on the horn to the general. Colonel, we've been going over your battle plan and we're a little concerned. What is it that concerns you? Boys in Langley tell me that between 100 and 350 Al-Qaeda are preparing to bring the fight to us, not to mention the probability of high-value targets moving through the area. Now, if they make it into Pakistan, our hands are tied. The General's intel is wrong. The coming force is three times that size. Maybe the General would do well to listen to the men on the ground in the thick of it instead of Washington pencil pushers, or keyboard clackers, whatever they are now. But I get the feeling the general has been out of combat for way too long, and when he was there, it was a whole different scenario than Afghanistan. Will he listen? Those numbers are incorrect, sir. Our intel shows the resistance is much higher. Possibly more than a thousand. Well, if that's the situation, it's even more vital to move now. We want boots on the ground in 24 hours. We have Tier 1 AFO teams inserting into the valley now, sir. They've already provided us with valuable intel on enemy positions in the surrounding mountains. And that's a start. But I want the 10th Motel, the Rangers, and the 187th in this fight ASAP. Sir, AFO will be able to identify and destroy enemy targets with airstrikes. Then we'll send in the troops to prevent any escape into Pakistan. Colonel, you're not hearing me. And I want to be very clear on this point. I am giving you 24 hours to get our forces into that valley. 24 hours. Now make it happen. We're done here. Of course not. Why do it the safest way from the air when we can charge into battle chin first? This general has become too much of a politician and forgotten where he came from. Let's go to work, Deuce. I'm not Rabbit anymore. I'm Deuce, a member of a wolf pack team that's doing the advance recon right now. Deuce, that means number two. So I try harder? For this mission, I'm riding a quad ATV. Not that far left. Watch cover movement for a while. Stay in it. Driving this thing is okay, nothing special. The controls are reasonably smooth and the vehicle doesn't tend to over-respond like happens in a lot of games. But when it gets right down to it, it's nothing but filler. Nothing of significance happens during the ride. There's no special instructions, no alternate routes to avoid enemies. You might as well just be out for a casual cruise. It gets us from point A to point B, but we could have just as easily started the level at point B for all that ATV sequence accomplished. You provide some overwatch for the other guys to get to the wall and into the compound, then you and your partner head on in. You clear the place out and find a treasure trove of information. <laughs> 